find out that, in fact, she is the person who had discovered that there was a cancer cluster in the mm -hmm. seacoast, had reached out to the state of New Hampshire to ask to confirm that, the, in fact, this cancer cluster existed. Um, when the state confirmed to her that the cancer cluster existed but wasn't going to do anything, took it upon herself to kind of cautiously reach out to the local press and bring, it, bring this story to the attention of the Seacoast. Uh, and so in the course of that concern about cancer in the Seacoast, I, I came to know her. She then responded when Tom Sherman, uh, who is also who's chairing the Seacoast Cancer Cluster at the time, decided he was going to seek another office and recruited her to become a member of the general court. Uh, I got to know her when she was elected and spent a couple of years as her colleague in the legislature watching her kind of tenacity, her kind of, um, her tenacity, I think is a good word, in trying to a ask questions and raise issues and also force responses to uh, to health concerns, public health. And, and I saw her operate not just as someone who was concerned about public health, but an array of issues that come up in the legislature, watching her stand up for assaults against reproductive rights, watching her stand up and be part of a battle to extend protections to people um, of all gender identities, um, watching her stand up uh, against gun violence, watching her stand up uh, uh, against human rights violations. And, and, it was, and it's been a challenge and, and a joy to work with her. I saw her go through, take, somehow decided she thought she would take her, she'd run for Congress and watched her do um, a, a pretty amazing congressional race. And what struck me about that uh, and watching her do the race is not just seeing her run the race, but also I recall the night of the primary when uh, she didn't win the primary. But as she spoke in a, with the traditional concession speech, made, an, made a, 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 her comments included a very gracious uh, but important recognition of the historical moment of the person who won, her, her opposition, when Chris Pappas won, acknowledging the significance of having the first openly gay uh, person nominated for Congress in the state of New Hampshire. There was something about that. That, I, that touched me a whole lot, and I've had the chance to continue working with her over the, you know, over the past year, um, trying to do safe water stuff and other things. And it's a joy to, to know her and to celebrate the fact that she's going to join as one of the watchdogs for District Three uh, in our Executive Council. And is going to go on to become next November or next January. She's going to win in next November, become a member of the Executive Council. Woo!